Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Rescue Digital Media. Today, in this video, I will show you how to fix Oops VLC Media Player just crashed with 6 quick fixes. But before that, like, subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified when our new video lands. Perhaps Oops VLC Media Player just crashed problem occurs mostly due to outdated VLC Media Player, unsupportable or corrupted video, VLC Media Player issue, corrupt installation files, problem with VLC's coding, output scheme or any other playback setting and VLC components might getting blocked by any system programs, security apps or setting. Now, let's move on to fix this issue. Solution 1, update the VLC Media Player. When you face any type of issue related to VLC player then the first thing you need to ensure that the VLC player is updated. If not, try to update the VLC media player to the latest version first. Follow the guidelines for updating. Run the VLC player. Navigate to the help, which you can see at the top menu bar. Choose the check for updates option. If there's any recent version available then you'll be prompted to update it. Solution 2. Disable Hardware Acceleration Decoding In case you're only encountering skipping issues or general crashes on VLC when you attempt to play high-definition MKV files by streaming them over a network, it's most likely due to insufficient processing power on your computer. So, here you need to perform hardware acceleration decoding. Here's a quick guide on disabling hardware acceleration on VLC media player. Open VLC Media Player with administrative privileges by right-clicking the launch icon and choosing Run as Administrator. Once you're inside the main VLC window, use the ribbon bar at the top to access the Tools menu. Then click on Preferences. When you get to the Simple Preferences screen, select the Input, Codex category from the menu at the top. Then move down to the Codex tab and set the Hardware Accelerated Decoding to Disabled. After you do this, click on the Save button once to make the change permanent. Restart VLC Media Player and see if the issue is now resolved. Solution 3, Enabling DirectX Video Acceleration, DVXA, 2.0 If you're encountering this issue on a newer PC configuration that runs with a fairly dedicated GPU, but with a low-tier CPU, changing the default hardware acceleration to direct video acceleration, DCXA, 2.0 might be the method that finally fixes the constant VLC crashes when playing. MKV files. To do so, follow the instructions properly as mentioned. Start by opening up VLC Media Player with administrative privileges. Once you're inside the application, Use the ribbon menu at the top to bring up the Tools menu. Then click on Preferences from the newly appeared drop-down menu. After you manage to get inside the Simple Preferences menu, select the Input, Codex tab from the menu at the top. Next, scroll down to the Codex section and change the Hardware Acceleration Decoding using the associated drop-down menu to DirectX Video Acceleration DVSAW, 2.0. Click Save to confirm the change, then restart the VLC application and see if the problem is resolved the next time you attempt to play a MKV file. Solution 4. Boosting File Caching If you're encountering several seconds of general stuttering after the application finally crashes, it's most likely due to the fact that the application doesn't have the time to do sufficient file caching. By default, VLC Media Player allocates 300 milliseconds to file caching, but this might not be sufficient for low-end PC configurations. Simply follow the steps. Open VLC Media Player with administrative privileges. Once you're inside, use the ribbon at the top to click on Tools. Then click on Preferences from the drop-down menu that just appeared. After you manage to get inside the simple Preferences menu, Change the Show Settings toggle in the top left corner from Simple to All. After you do this, the menu will change accordingly. From the new interface, use the left-hand side menu to select Input, Codex. With the input, 
Codex menu selected, move over to the right hand side menu and change the value associated with file caching, MS, to 1000. Click apply to save the changes, then restart VLC media player and see if the problem has been resolved. Solution 5. Forcing multi-thread decoding on PPEG playback. If you're encountering a lot of general stuttering and lag before finally experiencing the oops, VLC media player just crashed error while attempting to play. MKV files that are exceptionally large, it may be because VLC is configured to default. For this, you just need to follow the instructions. Open VLC media player with administrative privileges. When you are prompted by the user account control, UAC, click on yes to grant admin access. Once VLC media player opens successfully, use the ribbon menu at the top to select tools, preferences. By default, you will see the simple preferences screen. To changes it to the advanced preferences menu, set the show settings toggle, bottom left corner, to all. As soon as the Advanced Preferences menu becomes visible, use the left-hand section to select Input, Codex menu. Then, expand the Video Codex drop-down menu below and select the FPEG entry from the list of available sub-items. With the FPEG entry selected, move over to the right-hand side section and locate the thread's entry under Decoding. Change the value of threads to 2, then click on Save to enforce the change. Restart your VLC media player application and see if the issue is now resolved. Video Repair Tool To fix OOPS VLC media player just crashed problem, you must try the professional video repair tool. It can repair all sorts of video formats like MOVE, MP4, AVI, UFSHT, MKV, WMV and other video file formats. Besides, this software can repair flickery, stuttery, jerky, unplayable videos. Download, install and launch video repair software on your system. Click on add files to add corrupted video files. Click on repair button to begin the repairing process. This start repairing your added video files one by one. You can click on preview, in order to preview the repaired video file within the software and click on Save Repaired Files button to save the repaired videos at desired location. Find its download and user guide links in the below description box. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share this video if you find it helpful.